Hey John, so I changed navigation a little bit in what I was going to show um, because I saw like initially you go into project management, so I thought it'd be a better flow to go through project management rather than like project costing, you know, project billing. They're basically the same data is presented differently. I thought it'd be a smoother flow, so I go into my navigator, I go into project vision operations, project delivery, and then project list. And when this opens up, that there will be that one project that we had shown earlier, um, the one we've been using. <clears throat> I went in last night and got all of the remaining um, transactions that were held up and got those imported in. So you can see here again, you'll just pull up one project list and just note if I'm uh, you know, a user and maybe I've got eight or ten projects that I'm working on they'll all appear here. I can also put these in different formats, project sets, so you know it's almost like I can manage them more from a, a portfolio standpoint. So I'm going to go in and open this project up. Okay, I've got work list reviews, that kind of thing, collaborative communication, you know, embedded in the application so I can see things. Right. And so within here, and you talk about you know general tasks overview this is an area that's configurable so you can see what you want to see in the, you know in the way that's that's most helpful to you to support this operation um so i go into financial the financial tab will open this is where i'll see my funding this is where i'll see my budget i'll see all my costs and i'll see my billing so here you know i can see how much we were funded for we got a million dollars of revenue that was, uh, um, you know, granted to us through a MIPR or, or whoever process by which you got that. Um, and let's go into costing. And this is where we'll see all our costs, all those costs that we had now that came from, um, you know, maintenance. You go in, go. Again, these will all show up. You can drill into these and such, right? But you hear all your costs and they're all laid out. Um, <clears throat> we've got a burden cost. We could also burden these costs. So if we want to, we can add, you know, an additional cost burden onto that. Um, if we got overhead or some allocation charge that we want to apply to it. And, and then go into billing. And then we can look at our billing. can see here we've taken all of these costs we've got our funding and we've used you know 96,000 of that giving us basically uh, 9 to 103,000 left right we can go down and we have one invoice associated with that and again we can drill into that invoice and, and see some of the details associated with it but that really has you know from, from we talked about the MSC flow and, and that's essentially what they're doing they're taking Funding, they're getting funding in. They're then, um, you know, setting up their budget. They then accumulate their costs. And those can be, can be paid from multiple places, of course, as you know, maintenance or time and labor or AP. Uh, those costs are accumulated. <clears throat> their burden, if you want to do that, apply burden rates, ultimately billed and sent to AR for collection. 